Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you join me on a cold Saturday morning here um, as I'm just about to make a small modification to the front of my car. The modification in question is this plate holder just in front of me. Since picking up the car, it's something that I've not really liked. Uh, the front end could look a lot cleaner with the front plate just mounted to the grill there. My plan is, is to just drill four holes in the honeycomb grill, put in a couple of cable ties through each and then attach these cable tie bases right here to the back of the plate. Um, I think it'll just give the front a lot cleaner look uh, and make it a lot smoother. So I just need to get the front plate off, which on my car is actually just my car. I did have some black and silver vintage plates just for show, just to bob on and off with the Velcro. Um, the mount is attached with a couple of screws. Um, just need a little Pause the driver just to get them off and look for it. Obviously, if uh, if you've not got the velcro on there, they should be really easy to see. So once the plate mounts off, you'll see the two original drill holes there. Um, however, I'm just going to cut a little wider. So when you pull the cable ties, the plate is going to curve around the bumper um, so it's not sort of flapping around on each side. Right guys, so once drilling is complete, you just want to grab one of your cable ties uh, and just bend the top of it that way. Once it goes into the hole, it just should come back out right at the bottom. Over. Just grab some tweezers, just in case. Um, it is quite a fiddly process, so. Just pop it in. And up. Grab it at the bottom. And then there's your first cable tie ready to pull through. Just gonna repeat the process on the next one. So same on this side, push the cable tie through, pull it through with your tweezers. So now you've got two cable ties pulled through like so. So the next process guys is putting the self-adhesive pads onto the back of the plate. I've made a couple of marks where the cable ties are just to line them up. So just put one on the top, one on the bottom then repeat on the other side. So guys, once they're on look, you just need to bob the cable tie through. Like so. Grab the other end. And just for now, if I can do it. And I'll just do it gently and repeat on the other side. So once you've put the cable ties through, guys, all you need to do is just get behind and pull, like so. Just do it gently because you don't want to pull the, uh, the sticky pads off. Just pull. like so, to get the plate in place. Remember the tighter the pull, the less sort of movement is going to be in the plate. So all I need to do is just cut the cable ties underneath. 
as it starts to rain. There we go. All done. A lovely flush number plate. Uh, there is a bit of movement, but nothing too extreme. Uh, it does look, it does look a lot cleaner on the front of the car. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, there's going to be more tips, uh, little tricks, things you can do with your Mini and other cars. Obviously, a lot of cars have the honeycomb grill, um, Audis, that kind of thing. They could benefit from this. Uh, so if you could like, subscribe, that'd be amazing. Um, but for now, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.